and I, they can put multiple birds in the air based off of one controller. So you can have your four UAS going into four different quadrants, give them individual commands, or you can have them map that out autonomously. And they can move as a group without you necessarily having to command that structure. We're building closed loop systems that allow the robotics on the edge to observe, learn, reason, and act, such as humans do, to be able to make decisions for themselves without having to have cloud connectivity and large language models. It's able to do it right there on whatever compute is on the actual robot itself. Follow this, this, and this, and as long as you have enough drones, it's going to lock onto its target and follow it, increasing surveillance with minimal cognitive load. They can do that in any environment using sensor fusion. So if it's day, night, if the targets are partially occluded, they can pull in multiple modalities, whether it's IR or potentially radar, so that you could see an occluded target through a tree line or something. You also, in the case of multiple systems, would autonomously witness these systems moving into different locations to try to get a different view of the target when it does leave the frame that you're seeing presently. It is identifying targets via thumbnails and those can largely be ignored unless the user wants to make a prioritization choice. But otherwise, you're just receiving information and the drones are avoiding obstacles and tracking things without the operator having to make any decisions or even look at the screen across multiple platforms, multiple systems. It's always a warfighter first mentality. Many of us are former service members, including myself, and we don't make any decisions without that warfighter being first in mind. They're an incredibly hardworking group of people.